Over the last decade, the amount of people capturing video, vlogging, posting it online has increased, and that's not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm here to meet a professional vlogger, Luck Chung, who's also a tech reviewer, to show us just how to get started. Thanks for joining us today, Luck. Tell us more about what you do. I'm a tech vlogger. Uh, I talk about cameras, I do camera reviews, anything about photography and taking video. Amazing. Yeah. And what kind of things are we doing today? We're going to talk about how I usually do my camera review vlogging. What kind of skills do you think we need for all that? I want to talk about like how to choose your camera, how to use different modes on your camera to try to get you up to speed on vlogging. Amazing. Well, let's get learning. Look, let's talk about you getting started in yeah, the world of vlogging. When we started, we were hired to do camera reviews. So it just, it just, everything just fits in. Like, I'm doing what I like as my job. You've picked the topic that you're passionate about, and I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming that would come across in your videos as well, right? When you watch a vlog on, on, online, you are kind of like, you don't just want to learn about what he or she is talking about. You want to see a real person who's talk about what he or she passionate about. When I do my camera reviews, I would show that certain features on the camera is really great. I could feel your energy just talking about <laughs> it. I, could, I almost feel like you had a camera in your hand. So we've spoken about having the right mindset. What kit do we need? Um, actually, quite simple. Um, a camera, a lens, and then a back of phone. Very straightforward. Yeah. What camera do we have here today? Oh, this is a um, Canon R50. It is an um, APC size sensor mirrorless camera. Are there any features on that 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 offers that makes it a good camera for vlogging? Autofocus is really important because shooting vlog, you don't really have so much time to focus, and sometimes you have to put it away from you. So good autofocusing is really important. And other thing is image stabilization because you don't, you don't really want your footage to be wobbly and shaking. Good color, good image quality. Of course, that's really important. And then a flip screen. So what, what does that offer then in terms of vlogging? What, how does that help you? Well, just like this one, we've got one <laughs> filming here. Rather than like... Uh, wondering. Wondering <laughs> which, shot or not. am yeah. I in the shot? Yeah. And also self-timer mode actually you think self-timer is for photo, actually really useful for video because you can set up it to be like 2 second or 10 second self-timer. So you can press and then start. So you don't have to edit out all those beginning, like that awkward moment like, uh, okay. Any other accessories that we need? I can see you've got like a whole setup there. I've got this tripod grip here. It's got a Bluetooth remote control. Nice. You can start and stop, stop recording. It, yeah. And then this grip is really convenient because you can shoot, shoot it like that. And then it is also a tripod because it's a tripod grip. <laughs> <laughs> so you can put it down. So it gives you a little bit more variety. How important is it to pick the right microphone? A microphone is something most people don't realize that they need. 80% of beginners just start with a built-in microphone. Adding an external dedicated microphone just make you stand out. How do you make sure that you get in the right audio levels? I guess for beginners, you can start with auto uh, level. You can see the level on the screen, ah, the, yeah. the audio level so on the screen. Speaking, it's, yeah. it's moving. So then you know that it is working. If I'm looking to get into a product like yourself, you know, talking about tech and all that stuff, does it have anything to help with that as well? There's a new thing that's called a product demo mode built for vloggers, YouTubers, TikTokers, because a lot of time you want to talk about something you like. Oh, I like this camera a lot. So just like that, it's nice. just slap into the product. So quick. As a beginner, you might not know how to fully do all the manual things yet. Are there any modes on here that will help with that? Of course, it got full auto, it got full manual. If you're confident, if you already <laughs> learned everything on this camera, it got image stabilization mode. It just set everything up for you. Right, so we have our mindset. We have our tools ready. Yeah. Well, should we do some vlogs? Yeah, of course. So, tell me about the setup. What camera and what lens are we using? 
we're using the R50, uh, it's the same one here, but over there is the 18 to 45 millimeters zoom lens. Why that lens? Because zoom range is actually quite useful from wide angle to standard, so you don't have to keep changing lens. Also, this is a kit lens, so it comes with this camera. These days, kit lens are great. For a beginner, I guess that's a great package to have. You get yeah. your camera and the lens already in the box, ready yeah. to go. So once we've captured all the shots that we want for the day, mm. what do you do with it? What's next? So short form, one minute or something like that, you can just send it to your phone. How do you do that? So you can use the Canon Connect app. Okay. Wirelessly transfer your video to your phone. So if it is just a really short, one minute quick clip, transfer to your phone, edit a little bit, and then upload straight away. How about the long form? Long form, you want to transfer to your computer and edit it nicely before you upload it. The R50 actually gives you different um, size of video from 1080 to 4K and different codecs as well. So if you're beginning, you've got a relatively slow computer, you still can edit that footage. Thank you so much for that. Those are really some fantastic tips there that you've given us today. I mean, you know, talking about having the right mindset, just going out there to shoot and using the right tools. Do you have any other last, you know, tip and tricks? Is there anything that we can take away with us today? Actually, just go in and shoot. Capture some content and learn from mistakes. Learn from mistakes, yeah. Well, I hope you guys have picked up a thing or two to kickstart your vlogging journey. Uh, make sure you subscribe as well because we have a lot of videos available uh, in the Canon Learning Series. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>